Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate in the material science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology. I also took my bachelor's of science in pharmaceutical chemistry at this institution as well. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college and university level. So if you needed any help with homework or with tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. So now I'm just going to get started on our set of questions for today's session. All right, so question number one just simply asks, what is the molar mass of sodium hydroxide? Okay, so when you try to find out the molar mass of a compound, we first need to know the atomic masses of the atoms that are involved. For example, for sodium, its molar mass can be found just on the periodic table, and it is just 22.99 grams per mole. We can do the same for oxygen. Its molar mass is around 16 grams per mole. And lastly, for hydrogen, it is the lightest element on the periodic table, and its molar mass is around 1.01 .01 grams per mole. So when we want to calculate the molar mass of NaOH, all we have to do is add these values together with respect to how many atoms there are of each element in the compound. So in the case of NaOH, there is only one mole of sodium, one mole of oxygen, and one mole of hydrogen, so we don't have to worry about multiplying it by any like values. So I'm just going to show right here that it's just adding all these values together. Then if you add it all up, the sum of all these values is 39.997 grams per mole. So this is the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. So let's see the answer from our junior tutor. Molar mass is the amount of substance per mole of that substance. Yeah? And molar mass is expressed in grams per mole, or g over mole. First, find out the molar mass of each of the elements involved uh, for sodium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Then get the total. That is the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. Okay, so this solution is correct. Thank you. 